Last year, Tiffin Columbian made the playoffs and they are returning a ton of talent. We continue our high school football previews with the Tornadoes tonight. Here's Christy Copanis. A playoff berth wasn't good enough for Tiffin Columbian in 2018. They have unfinished business. Plenty to still chase after, go after, and uh, the message all offseason was remain the hunter. Um, and so just striving to get a little bit better every single day because there's some unfinished business for sure. Well, obviously we'd like to win all the games in our conference. There's, we just don't want to have it up to question who's the champs at the end of the season. Our run got sh cut short last year. It's time to uh, finish what we started. A lot of those guys that experience their playoff run get cut short are back. They're spending less time focusing on rebuilding and more on getting better. Uh, confidence, I'd say. Uh, it gives confidence to our guys that maybe don't know that position as much, but they're learning it, but they have confidence because the guy next to them knows what, exactly what they're doing. We expect to win some games. We Obviously the goal is to win the conference, make the state playoffs, and then hopefully get to that championship game and compete in it. We never want to uh, be a one-man show, be you know, a one-man band. Um, we are going to continue to develop depth at all the positions, running backs, wide receivers, um, defensive backs, and uh, you know, we, if we want to play 15 games, you know, we got to have depth at all those positions. So um, we're trying to continue to evolve who our varsity players are, and if they're worthy, they're going to play. Tiffin Columbian's week one opponent, Fremont Ross.